sorry about that, babe. So, since I heard that the boss in Glasdar Tower is so difficult, I'm being realistic. I'm gonna try to gain access to Glasdar Tower, and then I'm probably just gonna call it, as far as my, my real life schedule goes, since I am going away for a few days. And uh, I'll probably just do a bunch of grinding, because I'm gonna have- I know that I have to grind before the end of the game anyway, so... My goal is to try to basically get access to Glasdar Tower, and then not really go through it yet. Mount Glasdar is west of town. Glasdar Tower is at the center of the mountain. The last key to the door of Glasdar Tower is hidden in a cave. So obviously we gotta go to a cave. An island's floating above Glasdar Tower? Cool. How'd you get here? Wait, there's literally inns everywhere? That's the shtick of this place? That's pretty funny. Selling anything good? Uh, oh, they had sweet waters here. Huh. Well, they got EX magics, too. Hmm. Oh, boy. Yeah, we can't afford those. That'll probably be something that we're, uh, gonna grind for. There's a locked door to the passage that leads to Mount Glasdar. I know where it's hidden, do you want to know? Yes. First, bring me some apple cider from the basement. The old man... Okay, so I gotta bring you some apple cider. I'm assuming this is the basement? Only the smart ones get this far. Pear cider. Oh my god, get out of the way. Plum cider. Well, I don't have room, so I gotta drop you. And drop you as well. Will you share this cider with me? Hi, don't you want to play? Hello. Uh, nope. Always finish what you start. Best plum cider in the world. Made it myself. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, I don't know how to break it to you, sir, but... Um, apple cider is not plum cider, but okay. It's fine. Maybe he doesn't know it. I don't know. I'm not going to question it, and I'm going to give it to this guy. So how about that? There's a locked door to the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's what I call great apple cider. Hmm, good stuff. Delicious. The key should be in the cave that's north of Glasdar Tower. Alright, thank you, sir. Ooh. I think I'm looking for this type of armor. What do we have on right now? Carbo and clear silk. Okay. Oh, I keep forgetting to switch this. It's tough to remember sometimes, honestly. Alright, let's do one, two, three. Oh, can't afford it. It's fine. Boom. Oh, I have too many things. This is stupid. Alright, what can I drop at this point? Sour cider. I mean, I have a lot of extraneous stuff in here. Diamond ring, I don't need. Alright, now let's start equipping. Zircon armor. Boom. Let's sell the other ones. Carbo plate, carbo plate. Uh, equip the robe. Wait, what? Oh, she can't wear it? That's weird. Okay. That's fun. Um, anything else? I think I might buy the beret. How are we doing helm-wise? Carbo helms. Boom and boom. Okay. Alright, and then Jaren. Okay, let's sell the other stuff. Carbo cap, carbo helm, carbo helm. And then last but not least, we have to re-equip our heavy ring. 
I'd say we're pretty much well equipped at this point to uh, head to the cave at the very least. So let's do so. All right. Oh, thank goodness. Much easier when you can fly everywhere. So this is the one that they, I mean, they said it was north, right? So I'm going to assume that this is it because Glasdar Tower looks like it's uh, below me. It's actually kind of weird that it's like surrounded in um, like poison and shit. You know what I mean? Like, doesn't that make it seem like maybe that there's like a secret there or something? I don't know. Anyway. Oof, I hope there's not a boss in here. I didn't even think about that. Oh. I guess we'll find out. Oh, that was a uh, bit of an illusion. <laughs> I am going to smoke bomb my way through here. I'm going to do most of my grinding, obviously, just off camera. Alright, so i got to remember that there's a stairwell up here. Okay, so we do have new enemies. Gorgons. They ain't playing around in here. You know, the uh, I've been thinking about it, right, for a little while. Those night uh, enemies. Now I know what they remind me of. They remind me of um, like the character from Wizards and Warriors on the NES. Almost to a T. I mean, obviously, other than the color being different, but... Smoke ball. Probably end up using it a lot quicker than we think. Looks like we could fall through the hole. A hole there. A hole? Yes. I can't forget that there was a stairwell um, up above. I'm actually, honestly, unless there's another set of stairs coming up uh, shortly, I might be better off escaping from the dungeon. <laughs> I think it's technically, like, shorter for me to get back to that, that stairwell down. <clears throat> Who knows, though? Mystery pin. Yeah, because I'm not seeing, like... ...much. Although, now that I'm thinking about it... Oh! You see? And that... Wait, what? What? Only a razor could use it? Can somebody else use the dual blade? I'm confused. What's the point of the Zircon sword, then? Other than selling? Is it a troll item? Because the dual blade's always going to be better, right? That's weird. I don't know. I don't know about that one. A bit odd, if I do say so myself. Ooh, I will actually fight you guys. I remember you give like 4,000 experience and you're pretty easy. Nice, a great potion. So, the great potion is attack, so I'm actually gonna raise a Guros. Strength, whatever, you know what I mean. Alright, same thing. Boom, boom, and boom. Dang, couldn't get the one cycle there, huh? Oh, too fast! Too fast for you! Alright, it's like 
I don't want to turn you down because it's an easy fight, but also can you stop appearing every three seconds? That would be much appreciated. Here we go. I'm just trying to get over that one door. <laughs> The one that I couldn't get into earlier that uh, looked like I could as soon as I entered, but I could not. This one. You're really not even letting me step? Come on now. I'm right next to it. ring. I'm just gonna go ahead and equip it and see what's up. Oh wow. So it raises attack power by 40, defense by like 20, and agility, huh? So what would it look like on you? Okay. Sure. That was good. Alright. I'll take that. Alright. Well, I think we've looted the entire top floor, so... Say no to this. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is it quicker? No, it's actually just about the same, I think. I remember I was gonna leave. I don't think it's really worth it at this point. I just have to get up to the next level. Not down. Or do I have to go down to get back up? I think I do have to go down to get back up. Oh my fucking god, dude. Stop! Again, I wish they made a ring to decrease enemy encounters. And then I wish it stacked with sweet waters. That would be the life, I tell ya. Okay. Well, finally, uh... Got through the first floor. I think this is a pretty short dungeon, from what I'm seeing. Ooh. What are we working with here? Go this way first. Yeah, the rock golems are annoying because they could actually turn you into stone, which is never fun. Alright, there's a warp. Uh, I guess I'll move it down? I don't know. Hydra. Oh my god, dude. So many fucking fights. Need like a thousand smoke balls to get to the end of the game. I mean, those are always good. So I gotta remember that there is a switch room. And then I put it down. I don't know if that matters. Usually it does. Typically I find that it hasn't been tricky. Meaning where it's already set in the right position. And then you kind of fuck yourself. Well, 
lot of miracles. I mean, it's decent, right? Obviously, you know, we're about to learn. We learned the one spell. We're about to learn at some point with Jaren the other one to do a full revive, but. Uh, yeah. There's smoke ball. Alright, I guess I'm gonna see what's in the other door at this point, right? We're gonna have to be doing some kind of warp action, so. going to take me. Cool. Spell potion. Uh, use it on Jaren. This takes me here. Hey, the Glasdar key. That's what we needed. Alright, power potion is HP. So, Jaren. How do I get to... Obviously, the warp tiles are controlled by the switch. If the switch was in the up position, it would have brought me back into the room with the switch if I stepped on the warp. But since I pushed it down, it brought me to that other warp that allowed me to go downstairs, so I got four items instead of the one. And it looks like, according to the item list, that it's either a magic guard or a mind potion, so either way, I'm actually not, like, devastated about it, so. We got the key. That's all that really matters. Um. Oh, sh what? Oh, that, okay. <laughs> I was like, what the hell just happened? But I forgot that there was, like, a, uh, storm swirling or something around the tower. Alright, so there's one more, um, Hell nah. I feel like the other one's gotta be cheaper. That's how they get you, it's like the gas station's right off the exit, you know what I mean? Where was the other one? Am I making all this up in my head? Eh, whatever. I'm pinching pennies at this point, it doesn't even matter. It don't matter. Alright, well we have the key to Glasdar Tower. So, like I said, I'm pretty sure that uh, the next step is we have to go through... There's a cave... That's south of Glas... Glasdal... Whatever, Glasdar Tower. Um... Sorry, I'm stretching. That... Mo most likely leads directly to the tower. Um, and it's probably one of those instances, this is close to the end of the game, right? So it's probably one of those things where you gotta go through the tower, or excuse me, the cave and the tower at the same time. Um, so I think I'm probably gonna cut it here for my session in real life, and I think I'm gonna do some grinding. And then I'll, uh, check back in with you guys here, and then we'll head off to the, uh, the south tower of glass, or excuse me, I keep saying tower, the south cave next to Glasdar Tower. Hey guys, super duper quick video here. As you can see, I'm back in that one warp room that I didn't get to earlier in the cave uh, north of the tower. And the reason is, that's where the dragon egg is. If I was on cycle one or cycle two, it would not be a dragon egg like I thought it wasn't, but since it's cycle three, this, well, it should be a dragon egg. And there we are. So there is my fifth dragon egg. And the last... Wait, hold on. This is my sixth dragon egg? Yes. Sixth dragon egg. Two more to go. Just wanted to make this video to show you guys. Now back to my grind. Alright, where to begin? Um, first, 
I just want to get this out of the way. I did do a bit of grinding, as you can see from my levels. I'll go over some spells that I've learned in the interim. Uh, it's about about five days, I think, since I last actually played played. Um, I did do a little bit of grinding at the tail end of five days ago, and also this morning. Uh, I went away for the weekend, and then Valentine's Day, so I was pretty occupied the last like four or five days. Um, so, unfortunately, the only th the only unfortunate thing, everything was great, was uh, I was right at the tail end of Lufia, as you guys know, and I wasn't able to actually fucking finish it, but obviously some grinding needed to be done anyway. I'm hoping this is enough to progress naturally. Um, I do still have the, the egg thing in my pocket where I could, you know, level up twice when I find the final two eggs. But we need to go through the cave and the tower uh, leading to the last area. So we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try. But anyway, uh, before we do that, I wanted to go over some spells that I learned. Since we last, um, I guess, met, right? And also some spells that I had that I didn't really know what they did, because <laughs> I didn't read. So, apparently, um, Trick, I think I might have learned that one prior, um, but Trick is learned by the hero and Jaren, Jaren knows it as well. Increases ATP, affects one member. Rally is a very, very good spell. Jaren learns it at level 42. Um, it restores fight power and affects one member, so basically it's a full heal and revive. Uh, Succumb seems kinda shitty. Uh, it is, it kills weak monsters and affects one group. Realistically, I don't think that's gonna work against anything at this point of the game. And then I just learned Valor, I believe. Let me just double check here. Yeah, 47. Completely restores HP, affects all members, so it's actually a full party heal. So the good thing and the bad thing is, a lot of these spells are great, but the bad thing is it's Razor. Razor and Aguro, we want attacking like all the time. So it's kind of a bummer. Um, Lufia, uh, I don't remember, did I know Succumb prior? Let me see. Lufia learned Succumb at level 43. I think I had that last time I checked in with you guys. Uh, again, kind of a pointless spell. At this point, we're using uh, Sunder and Thunder for the most part. Um, and lastly, Jaren. She also learned Trick, which I just went over. And I can't remember if she knew Glacier or not, but that's like the new Glacier and Vulcan are the two offensive spells that Jaren will be using. Also, the Champion spell, which Razor knew a while ago, and I didn't realize. Um, I believe it's a full heal, but it's only for one character, and I wasn't using it at all. Champion completely restores HP. Yeah, so a couple things to take note of. Um, I was going to continue grinding up another level, but I got lazy, <laughs> to be honest with you guys. Uh, I had enough of grinding. I probably did about maybe an hour, an hour and a half of grinding since we last uh, touched base. But this is, uh, this is where we're supposed to go now. We're going, this is the cave to the Glasdar Tower. So... Probably gonna be a while in here. From what I understand, it's pretty big. Uh, there's a lot of uh, things to to get while we're in here. Also, we're looking for a dragon egg. There's two more. So let me get back to my normal routine because I was grinding before, so I wasn't doing any of this. Sweet waters, and we're probably gonna smoke ball away from most uh, enemy encounters, but not all, just most. Certain ones give a lot of experience. Like, I might actually do this one, to be honest with you guys. Um, I also want to point out that, to my knowledge, you have to go through this tower, and then you have, or excuse me, the cave, and then the tower. I don't know when and where we're going to heal and stuff. So, like, let's say I get through this cave, um, and I feel like I gotta actually, like, retreat and save and all that kind of stuff. What I'll do is I'll edit out the footage to get back to the tower. Um... I'll make it as seamless as possible for you guys, but I will let you know if I have to do any retreating in the interim. Anyway. Even though we're not in grind mode, I'm gonna fight a little bit here and there. I think this is worthy. Certain fights are really annoying and I'm gonna skip them. There's a couple enemies in here that yield good experience, but they have, like, awful, uh... Basically things that could either turn me into stone or one-shot kill me. 
So not in the mood for that garbage, obviously. <clears throat> but I will do a little bit of this. Because all in all, 5,000 experience. And that's the uh, the norm in here, is anywhere between four to 6,000 experience. Pretty freaking cool. That's where I did pretty much all my grinding, really. I didn't advance anywhere, though, so, you know, no worries. Oh. A black ring. Why do I feel like this is cursed? What do you guys think? Let's check it out, though, in the ring, uh... The ring chart. Black ring. Is plus 5 defense, plus 10 agility, plus 10 attack power. Uh, plus 4. 40 magic resistance? Ooh. What do you guys think? You think it's cursed? Ah, uh, man. I hate how the chart doesn't say if it's cursed or not. I feel like the black ring has to be cursed. So I'm actually not gonna put it on. Because I don't feel like dealing with the cursed damage. This is one of the fights that we're gonna run away from. Uh, these guys know... I don't know if it's actually succumb or if it's gloom or something like that, but, um... They know a spell that insta-kills, um, and it insta-kill Razor every fucking time. <laughs> oh cool, we got a power potion. Um, Alright, it's been a few days. Power potion is going to raise my HP. So let's do Jaren. A five. You love it. Love to see it. Yeah, and we're gonna smoke ball away from this fight as well. EX arrows again. I haven't really been using those throughout the game. Probably stupid on my part, but what can you do? Oh my god. Are you kidding? This whole time? See, I didn't really explore in this cave when I was um, grinding. Also, I apologize if it sounds like I have more of a lisp than usual. I bit my tongue really bad yesterday, and I could barely talk yesterday. <laughs> it was like, it was pretty bad. I bit it like deep on my tongue, like in the back, and it was fucking me up. And I'm a lot better today, but I'm still noticing as I'm speaking here and there uh, that it's kind of, kind of fucking with me. But um, anyway. Yeah, I didn't know that there was fucking replenishing things in here, dude. If I would have known that, I would have grinded literally in this room. And uh, I want to point out that that enemy that just turned me to stone, I actually died once during my grind. It was two of those bulls and one of those, like, Grim Reaper guys. First turn, they insta-killed Razor. And then over the next turn, next two turns, excuse me, uh, my party got stoned. <laughs> so if you're wondering why I had so little gold with all that grinding, well, that, that explains it. Uh, do I still have any, uh, stone cures? I don't know. So to my knowledge, stone doesn't get... You actually don't get cured with anything unless you cast a spell. Even if you die, you come back in, like, stone form or some bullshit. At least, the. Uh, when I, when I ended up dying earlier. Okay, Stone Cure. Yeah, I'm gonna Smoke Ball, because like I said, they have the ability to, um... They give a lot of experience, man, but... They have the ability to fucking stone the entire party, which is no good. I'm also trying to check out how many Smoke Balls I have. Okay, so I got basically 200. Well, that's good to know, is that there's a, uh, like, a healing thing. Would have been nice if there was a, um, whatchamacall, a, um, like a cleric or something there, but I guess it's a little too early for that, right? So here's the next section of the cave. <laughs> you know, I, I, I asked for a cleric, got the wrong one. Um... I don't know. I've never actually fought these enemies yet, so I don't really know what's going on here, to be honest with you. We're gonna try to kill them and see what kind of uh, experience we get. Um... 
Alright, we got Fright. What does that do again? Oh, yes. How can I forget? Very, very annoying. Was it the pirate boss, right? That, uh... Oh my god! Wow, that's a lot of experience. Okay, so you know what? I felt like early in the game... Um... It was kind of difficult to grind in a lot of spots, and it's also necessary to grind, which is also kind of frustrating. But holy shit, guys. The end of the game? It, dude, if I would have known that I could have just stepped into this floor and got 9,000 experience in a battle, I could have saved myself probably fucking 40-something minutes. So the good news is, is if we do end up getting our shit pushed in by the next boss, that there is the ability to come right here, which is very, very, very close to a full replenishment. Um... <clears throat> and I can grind super easy. Like, some of these fights, like these now, these used to be good grinds, but now it's just kind of meh. It's only like 3,000 experience. I want that last combo, though, dude. That was nuts. Alright. I mean, I guess I kind of got to take this one, right? <clears throat> Ah, nice, a one-hit kill. Would have been good if we could have got Lufia's hit in here, but, no. Oh. Beggars can't be choosers. Beggars cannot be choosales. Let's see what kind of experience we get with only one Mad Cleric and two Red Skulls. Curious. Okay, so it's a little less. The Clerics are the things that give more, but that's okay. Shit, man. I'll take some organic grinding, 100%. You don't have to, uh... You don't have to convince me otherwise. Hey! Alright, so we should have seven dragon eggs now, right? Uh... Where you at? Where you at? Dragon egg... I am blind. It should be... There it is. Yep. So the last dragon egg is in the tower itself. So we don't necessarily need to loot everything in here, but... I mean, we're so close to the end of the game at this point, guys. It's like, why not, you know? Why not? Oh, shit, I have too many things. Wow. Drop. Drop. Uh, I forgot about the Zircon sword. Don't I have one? Is it not as... Oh, that's right. The Zircon Sword is, um... Huh. Ooh, Sonic Heals. I don't understand the Zircon Sword. There, there's gotta be something to it. There might be, like, a hidden ability that I'm unaware of. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. So we got... Oh, didn't I already buy friggin' two pairs of these? Again, you guys gotta bear with me. It's been like five days, like I said, since I played. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna end up freaking. Um. Whatchamacall? End up selling them or some shit. I don't know. Uh, wow, this cave is odd. Hi, right, magic. Did I leave the cave already? Oh no, okay. I was like, what? Uh, okay, so where the fuck am I? Alright, I free. I don't know where I am. Hmm, okay. Are we like towards the bottom now? Or are we in a new area altogether? Oh yeah, shit, I was already here, man. Uh, what did I fuck up? Oh, you know what? I didn't go up towards the middle. This is probably where I need to go. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna smoke ball just because it's three different types of enemies makes things a little bit more difficult. You know, Jaren can't attack all. Uh, some spells don't hit all. So on and so forth. 
Now this one is intriguing. Um, I will go ahead and do this fight. Someone was really close to leveling up, so that's why I'm doing this. And to my knowledge, this fight's not too annoying. Famous last words, I'm sure. Oh, okay. Piercing me. Jaren should knock out those skulls, I think. No? I thought that we were that low. Guess not. Hey, good thing I didn't fucking cast magic. <clears throat> That's what we like to see. We love to see that shit. Yo, if you could just, like, organically boost me, I'm all about it, dude. You will not get any complaints from me. <clears throat> Alright, so there is a door. But we have more chesticles. Mind gourd. I have a feeling I'm gonna run out of fucking smoke balls. Because I feel like at some point, I'm just not gonna wanna fight a lot of these things, like this fight. If, if I don't have to, I'm not gonna fight anything that could basically one-hit kill me in a sense. Dragon arrow. PX bomb. Alright, we have a warp up there. Bunch of doorways and shit. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to start going into some doorways. Um, I think there was one down here. We'll just start there. And then uh, work our way up and to the left. Potentially. <clears throat> oh, you fuckers, I forgot about get help. Give me a break. But yeah, as I always do, I'm trying to think about my next move, you know? I have a lot of games in mind. I'm, I'm actually debating going on a little bit of a non-RPG streak. And the main reason is because Elden Ring is coming out in like... I don't know what, what now. Probably... 10 days, 11 days, something like that. Um... So I just know... Oh my god, this is actually kind of annoying. Alright, so... I. Don't want any foul waters at this point. What else don't I need? I mean, there's a lot of things that I don't really need. Some of these rings I don't need, I'm just kind of keeping them for whatever reason. <laughs> you know, I don't need any straw dolls anymore. Probably don't need a stun arrow. So apparently the Wind Flute might heal my entire party, but I have no idea what the Silver Tarot does. Um, actually, just gonna drop the Sonic Heals. Okay, great potion. I mean, that was definitely worthwhile, all the drops. So this increases strength. Uh, I'm gonna do it on a Guro. Only two. Kind of a bummer. Not gonna lie. We're gonna smoke ball out of here, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna like stick with the RPGs, obviously. My favorite genre. But I'm thinking about after I beat this, I wanted to uh, play Quack Shot. Ooh, what is this, dude? It's actually kind of scary. <clears throat> Should I be fighting this thing? Let's see. Okay, so it drops, drops a dragon arrow, but in general, it's like... Not really worth it, even if there's two of them. It'll only be about 5,000 experience. It's kind of a bummer. For a second, I was thinking that was kind of like a rare encounter. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking about playing Quackshot on the Genesis, um, I was playing it, now it's probably close to two and a half, three weeks ago, 
and I was gonna record it in the middle of Lufia, but I have everything set up so specifically. Uh, each system kind of has a different, I don't know, like uh, aspect ratio to it when it comes to OBS. And more specifically, the audio levels were so different. Um, between this game and other SNES games, let alone... Oh, I didn't even realize it goes around in circles. Let alone Genesis, so that's why I held off. But I think after that I will record... Uh, hopefully a Deathless run of Quackshot. It's so easy to fucking die in that game though, dude. And I've had uh, wireless controller problems, actually, with some dropped inputs. Might go wired when I do that. At the very least, I'll do a no-continue run. Better than nothing, right? Um, and then I was thinking about kind of going back to some of my roots here when it comes to streaming and just in general. Might want to start playing through the, uh, the Resident Evil series. Um, I have a couple of Resident Evil videos on my channel. I have my knife-only stream that I beat as Chris in Resident Evil 1. And I also have a uh, speedrun of Resident Evil 2, Leon A. Um, but I was thinking about maybe, you know, trying to do like, I don't know, all endings, best ranking sort of runs and shit like that in the games. And then certain games in the series like Resident Evil Zero, Code Veronica, um, what else? Resident Evil 3 even to a certain ex uh, extent, I haven't beaten those that much, so. Ooh. The Glasdar key, but the question is, is what did I miss, though? Because I definitely missed some shit here. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to take a peek. So it looks like I missed... Mm, nothing crazy. It looks like mostly miracles. I think I got, like, all the good shit, so I'm just going to push ahead here. This probably warps me to that warp, which I think was next to some stairs? But yeah, I don't know, man. It, it sucks, because there's, like, so much stuff that I want to play, but I just don't have the time, dude. The only way I'd have the time is if I hit it big here on the YouTubes, which is <laughs> never happening. Although I will say, we're very, very close to 700 subs now as of the recording this night. I'm making progress, baby. I feel like I'm going to get to 1,000, probably well before the end of the year, and I'll be super happy, because I've been, I've been working hard at it. <clears throat> Alright, shit, so... Huh. We got Glasdar Tower coming up. So the good news and the bad news is... Um, the good news is, is that we made it to Glasdar Tower, and the bad news is, is that... Um, I can't really save it, right? I think you have to go straight through to the tower every time. Um, I guess it would be appropriate for me to start using some items though, right? We're like at the end of the game, so fuck it. And are we topped off on our heels? We are. All right, let's see what uh, Glasdar Tower has to offer then, I guess. Hopefully not a lot of hanging, if you catch my drift. Also, I don't remember if I popped the sweet water, but I will. And I'm trying to beat this game tonight. So I'm actually going to skip. I have the item list uh, in the strategy guide. I'm going to skip items that I deem not necessary. And on this floor, there was two items that are, are very not necessary, to say the least. So I'm going to go ahead and avoid those. Um, all right, the same with here. Oh, actually, honestly, a lot of these items are not necessary at all now that I'm looking at it. I think the only one that I really want... Obviously, I want upgrade potions whenever I can get those. And the Gloom Ring, which I don't know for a fact. But I think the Gloom Ring prevents me from getting one-hit KO'd by the Gloom spells. Which obviously is... I mean, I'd say pretty important, no? So... <clears throat> Second floor hallway of the Glasdar Tower. Interesting. Where does this bring me? Wait, did this just bring me... 
Nah, it brought me somewhere else. I thought it brought me downstairs. I was like, what? <clears throat> so the enemies, I mean, I've only encountered like one, right? But they seem to be very similar to the, the cave leading up to the tower. The tower is actually pretty freaking big, uh, to be honest with you. <laughs> So I'm, I'm trying to figure out here the, the quickest way to get to what I want. And like I said, if there's items that I deem not necessary, I'm not going to waste my time at this point. Your boy, like, really, really wants to uh, beat the game tonight. Um, hmm, okay. We have a warp, apparently, in this, in this room. Now, I'm curious. Where does that bring me? Also, the other thing we gotta consider is we're very low on inventory space. So I wanna make sure I'm not taking it up with fucking crap I don't need. Okay, so that's not a warp? I don't know what that is. Now I'm very confused. It didn't do anything. So, anyway. I guess we'll just push on. <clears throat> hmm. So these enemies are tough. But I think I wanna kill them. These guys can do something to me, and I don't remember what it is. It's something bad. <laughs> Besides hit me 123. I think it's... maybe they put me to sleep or something? I don't remember. But I was gonna say, we're really close to like leveling up. Oh shit, rally! Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 42. Cool. Oh, fuck! Guys, I completely forgot. I completely forgot. I'm a buffoon. One of these treasure chests has the dragon egg in it. Oh, my God. I haven't been looting. Okay, I actually have to bring that up. I fucking forgot, dude. I fucking forgot. I did this last time, too, with the, the one place that I was in where I was like, Oh, no big deal. I don't need to get everything. Well, fucking surprise, motherfucker. The items get reshuffled as you go on. So which... Which room shuffled out the item? Okay. It's the fifth floor of the Glasdar Tower, so I don't think I'm there yet. To my knowledge. Yeah, I'm definitely not there yet, so... We'll keep a lookout from here on out. Third floor hallway. Okay. And remember, we gotta get the gloom ring. Which apparently is uh, not here either. <clears> hmm. <throat> I wanted to fight because of the mad cleric, but I'm not in the mood to get insta killed. So. No thanks. No fucking thanks. The classic... Oh, hmm. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about this one. You know? But we'll give it a try. I don't know about getting confused by the Red Skulls. That's my issue here. Yo, how come that one pierce... That one pierce tried to gloom me? That's what that was, right? Does pierce do different things? Apparently? I didn't know that. Huh. Also, holy shit. How are these things still alive? Thank you. There we go. That, uh, that was a clusterfuck and a half, wasn't it? Hmm. Alright, anyway. We're still on the search for the gloom ring. And then on the fifth floor. We have to be very, very, very mindful. So. Wait, is the gloom ring? Alright, the gloom ring is on this floor. So I must get it. 
Apparently it's down here somewhere. Hopefully. Also, I'm a little worried about falling through the floor. Oh my god, do you think I'm gonna fall through the floor? Do you guys see that, that shadow? <laughs> okay, good. I don't know if my mind was playing tricks on me there or what, but... Yeah, something tells me these enemies are annoying as shit. We're talking spell, party-wide, crapola. Hey, there's the gloom ring. Oh, that's right, I also have to mind the fact that there's other... I mean, I guess I'll grab it, it's supposed to be a miracle. But I want to get these potions. I think the po the great potions and all that kind of crap, I think they're all in the same room with the, um, with the dragon egg. Um, alright. Let's go back up. Oh. Yo, what is this shit? <laughs> alright, let's try Sundering. Let's attack you. Um, I guess we'll Glacier, and then we'll attack the Electromaz. Let's see, let's see what this bullshit- Oh no, I forgot about that. Oh no. Ho! Oh! Sorry, I didn't mean to get super loud there. Alright. We should be able to mash our way through these guys. Just don't earth me, bro. Eighteen for the win. God damn the fucking That's nuts, dude. If I was playing this shit casually right now, I'd just be grinding in here. I could probably get up like three levels in an hour, which is like actually pretty crazy when you think about it for the end game, you know what I mean? Alright, so <sighs> we have a couple doors to go through, and I'm I'm curious. I'm gonna go through this one. Okay, enough with the ambush. Oh, are these guys teasing me? I I'm not falling for it. There's no way that elemental enemies wouldn't hit me with spells all the time, right? I, I feel like that was just them playing nice. Gotta be. Alright, with that being said, guys, I think that we're on the floor that we ultimately need to be on for, um, the goods, so to speak, so I don't know. There's also, like, this shit? Like, what do I do there? Am I missing something? Ooh, I will fight you guys, sure. Yeah, please don't make a girl fall asleep. We can get away with it, probably. With everybody else. Thank you. Alright. I guess I'll just loot, why not? Ugh, antidote. Pointless! Hold on. There you go. Um... Where the fuck am I? Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Hmm. Well, we're on the fifth floor. <sighs> so I'm hoping that, you know, we, I mean, we gotta be fucking close sooner or later, right? What do we got here? We have stairs. What do we have here? Ooh, a warp. I'm a little scared. Oh! Nice! Nice, nice, nice! I mean... 
The fact that it's on the fifth floor is pretty nice because I think we're close to the top. And now I believe the only way to go is these stairs. I cannot miss this Dragonite, guys. And I'm honestly a little concerned that I missed the Dragonite. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you. How do I get there? Ah, uh, boy. I'm trying to look at the uh, the map here and it's uh, honestly a little confusing. Oh my god, there's a teleporter? What the fuck? Oh, I see. Huh. So I guess... You know those little spots? I guess you can teleport to them if you press down a certain combination. And they're marked with numbers. So, dude, that'd be actually... If you did that completely blind, that'd be really, really freaking annoying. We have to figure out how to get to... Stairwell U? Because that'll connect to Doorway V, which will bring us to the Dragon Egg. The Dragon Egg is my utmost concern at this point. So I'm trying to figure that out. So I'm gonna sit here for a minute. <clears throat> P brings me to Q. Yeah, because I think we're basically at a dead end now. And it revolves around warping. You are... But where would... Oh man, I don't know, dude. Ambushed! Alright, so apparently 7 has pushed them all down. And I'm gonna assume that we gotta do 7, because... Unless the game actually wants you to backtrack. The other thing that we have to keep in mind is there's a warp thing there. I'm afraid to step on that shit. TBH. Yeah, so we are on the sixth floor. Should be the end. I did an extra boost there, but I actually did not need to do that. Huh. Oh, I see. So when you do this teleporter, okay, that resets it. I get it now. That resets the buttons. Whatever buttons you push there, whatever it's set to, you step on the warp and it warps you to that spot. But then I don't think you could warp back. I think you actually have to manually um, go where you need to go. So with all that being said, I gotta figure out how to get to the spot where it brings me to you. So apparently that's six. Combo six. So it should be down, down, and then I go here. Yes. Should I try the water spouts? I guess I have to at this point. I mean, relatively easy. Not too bad. Got a miracle. Okay, so this should bring me to where I need to go. This should be... Yes. And then once I go in here, this is where the last dragon egg should be. Power potion. Miracle. Dragon egg. Great potion. Speed potion. Revive. Miracle. Miracle. Alright, I gotta use some potions. Alright, so Power Potion is HP, so I'm going to want to do that on... We'll do it on... Raz Razor. Nice. Great Potion is Attack, we'll also do that on Razor. Uh, speed Potion. Who is... Slower? Oh, Aguro is really slow. So then the question begs, do I worry about Aguro's speed or do I bump up Razor's? You know what I mean? And I, I think that I actually bump up razors. Only two which blows, but... Spell Potion and Mind Potion. 
And I'm actually going to use this on Jaren, because I find Jaren to be more useful now. Alright, well, we got the dragon egg. Um, I'm in a little bit of a predicament right now. And here it is, guys. It is. We are basically, we are at the end, um, for the most part. Because all I would have to do is set the correct combination um, to warp to number eight. And then I have a couple of uh, floors, I guess. Oh, not floors, I guess they're just rooms. And then I'll be at the top of the tower. <sighs> so the question begs Do we go turn in our dragon eggs right now? Or. Is it possible to let me let me see? Is it possible to le like beat the boss here and then leave and do it? Because if I could do that, then I'll take a shot at the boss. Because I mean, worst case scenario, I die, right? And then we just gotta do it again. I feel like we're gonna end up getting. Huh? Let me see. Excuse me. I feel like we're gonna get automatically transported to Doom Island. Oh no, we're not. Okay, so well that makes my decision pretty easy. I think we're gonna try to go for the gold, so to speak. My question is, is, do I have to loop myself back or can this okay that does not okay so I actually have to like fall down and shit that's kind of annoying hmm I hope it makes me fall okay I remember this room so that should be a good sign <laughs> we just got to pretty much work our way back up yeah yeah I remember this shit Hey, I will, I will gladly fight the Mad Clerics. Yeah, we're gonna give the boss a shot, because worst case scenario at this point, guys, is I lose money. Money doesn't even matter anymore. And we maintain our levels as well, which is pretty important. 48. And then if, uh, you know, if everything gives me too much hassle, uh, I just go turn in my dragon eggs and level up twice. And I'm sure... This place in Doom Island will be uh, plenty for, for grinding if need be, so. This has uh, certainly been interesting though, I would say. Um, let's go see that boss, I guess. I don't know why I was expecting any different, but I gotta take a fucking pee. Might break the footage soon. Damn, dude, give me that fight over and over and over and over. Unless we get ambushed, it seems like we just fucking kill them before they, they do anything. You know what I mean? That's, uh, pretty legit to me. Yeah, <laughs> just gotta talk to it, right? And Razor, thank you. Oh my god. That's almost making me want to sit here and grind a little bit. Not gonna lie. But I mean, we got things to do, so. Um, I think this was it, right? Mm, no, it was not. Yes, it was. I actually wanted to go here because this is where we're able to get a free full heal. <clears throat> Which tickles my fancy. Oop. Okay, you can calm down. Give me double mad clerics or death, okay? Warp out of here. But now I can't remember, does this fucking bring me to where I want to go? I feel like it doesn't. Maybe it does. 
having trouble remembering. Oh yeah, this does. This brings me to the main area. Duh. Alright, so we have to warp to 8, which is... We gotta reset it. And then we just step on the middle. And there we go. That's actually funny. Isn't that funny? It's like the easiest combination. You pretty much just walk straight. At least I think. Yeah, 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 we're good. Oh my god, this is the top of the tower. Did I do something wrong? <laughs> anyway, I am at the top of the tower. So I am going to uh, take a little break here, IRL, get myself a drink, go to the bathroom. And then uh, we'll see if we have to do some more tinkering or if we're able to fight the boss. All right, I am all peed up. <laughs> And ready to rock. Just want to make sure that I'm all healed, which I am. And let's hope that the boss is here. And guys, if the boss is not here, then I have a lot of uh, a lot of looking into things because I'm quite confused. I'm pretty sure this is the top of the tower. Okay, good. Well, maybe not good. <laughs> I've seen mixed reports. I've seen that you should be at least level 46 here, which I mean, we kind of are. At least Razor is. Um, oh, who knows? I don't know what kind of bullshit this guy has. Probably has fucking insta kill spells and confusion up my wazunks. Welcome, I am Naseby, agent of Daos. Daos. I have the honor of sending you to your doom. Oh, that reminds me. I was schooled the other day in the comment section in regards to. Daos, right? I was always wondering how do you pronounce Tao from uh, Shining Force. Well, I guess it's kind of like ouch minus the ch, so it'd be Tao. So I guess it would be Daos, technically. But I just feel like Daos sounds better. But I'm gonna roll with Daos now. <laughs> also, this sprite's pretty cool looking. A little weird, but anyway. All right, so we're gonna use this, the typical strategy here, guys. We're gonna attack with Razor and Aguro. We're gonna cast, um, which I'm gonna call in the first round with Ufia, uh, Drain, and Jaren is gonna use Power Gourds on Razor and Aguro. Um, we have to maintain our HP with boost and various things. When we can attack with Ufia, we will use uh, the highest lightning spell, of course, to go with our ring. And uh, yeah, might try to do more buffing with Razor and Aguro since I think there are there are hosses at this point, right? So attack and let's drain and hope for good RNG because we don't know what lies a fucking head. Power guard, got that drain off. We're bouncing, huh? It's no good. Great. It's actually not good. Um, <clears throat> how do we cure silence? I actually don't know that. I do not know if we even have an item that cures silence or a spell. think we can. Hmm. That's actually a big bummer. That's actually a real big bummer. I probably should get in the habit of casting Mirror as well, right? Well, now I can't. Oh, shit. That's no good. We're probably gonna die. Yeah. Seems <laughs> like we're gonna die. Well, I guess we'll just try to go all out, right? Why not? Boom. And then we'll use another Power Gourd on a Guru. Attack. Yeah, not being able to cast a spell with Jaren, though. You feel me? Not really uh, ideal. Um, so let me think then, if I'm silenced, what is my best course of action? 
Hmm. If we could pull this off, I'll be very, very pleased. I just, I, I'm not, I'm not thinking that it's gonna happen. I guess I could try one of these. Oh, I could. Oh, is the wind flute a one-time consumable, or is it an all-time consumable? <laughs> I guess I'll save that for a more wind flutey turn, right? Let's try a dragon tooth. And we'll try the wind flute next round to see if it does heal us all. Jaren lost all magic power. Dragon tooth was useless as expected. Not ideal. All right, we'll see if it's a one-time use or not. You can certainly use the uh, the boost, essentially, which is what I believe this thing does. Man, this fight would be really easy if I uh, had magic with Jaren, because then I could start mirroring. But... We're kind of fucked... Well, I guess... No, I mean, she's got boost, but I'm going to continue on with the uh, offensive here. Okay, so flute does heal, but is it is it gone? Let's see. No, we can keep using it. Oh, that's actually legit. It's actually legit. Only thing that stinks is Aguro's magic defense is fucking bad, as you guys can see. So that's not ideal. Also, how much HP does this dude have? Let me see. Nisby, Nisby. Okay, so it's looking like he's around 5,000? So, let me do the math in my head here. He's gotta be at least half dead at this point. Almost. Right? I think so. I am a little concerned about Aguro's health. Um, but I'm gonna risk another Thunder here. Oh, okay. Huh. So about that. Um, we have to revive him. <laughs> uh, boy. Yeah, so that sucks. The insta-revive full heal spells are known by Razor, who's dead, and Jaren, who's silent. How about that? So we're gonna have to do that. Which is not great. And then we're gonna have to use... Oof. This feels bad on many... many aspects. Oh, oh, thank god. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. Okay. Okay. We're gonna have to heal with Lufia and Jaren, sadly. So I think we're gonna... boost? And then we're gonna use a EX potion on Razor. Don't, 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 See, this is where Reflect or whatever would come into play, but we don't have it. <clears throat> we are silenced. Guess I'll use a Power Gourd. Um, I think we just gotta hope that our dice rolls are good. Uh, the only thing is if Jaren gets KO'd, I think she should have her spells back now. Oh, no, 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 I almost did Spell. Or uh, Flood, I mean. Oh my god, he's succumbing non-stop, dude. Miss me. Miss me. Whew. This motherfucker. So this must be like a second phase, right? If he's casting that non-stop. Okay. 
I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm going to thunder. Uh, did Jaren not use the power gourd? Or am I, am I missing something? <laughs> Sometimes I swear to god I miss like shit completely in this game somehow. It like has like a fucking magic effect on your brain. Ooh, not good. Can't really afford uh, another one. A girl is gonna die, unfortunately. Huh, so what do we do here? Do we go offense or do we... I don't know what to do here because I feel like he's going to get his attack off before me. So I actually think I stick with offense. Oh, not good. Oh, really not good. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> this is real bad. We're in trouble, guys. Oh yeah, we're in trouble. Yep. Big fucking trouble. Oh boy. I think we're done. If he does an offensive magic spell, we're done. Uh, this fight got tilted, actually. By doing what he did to Jaren at the beginning, completely fucking screwed me, actually. Silencing Jaren basically cost me the fight, because I would have been able to reflect my spells and be able to do much more. Well, I guess we just kind of... Fuck, dude, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god, I'm an idiot, guys. I... Oh, don't even talk to me. <laughs> oh, I'm a moron. I forgot about the miracles. This is what happens when you take breaks for five days, dude. Don't succumb. I forgot all about the miracles, dude. I forgot all about that shit. Don't. 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 Thank you. Yeah, fuck me, dude. I completely forgot about that. Well, I don't even know what to say. Um, hmm. I feel like I'm, I'm like, stuck here, you know? I don't know what to do. You, you know, every time I do this shit, you know, I just get killed. <laughs> so, it's tough. Yeah, Vulcan dead. Lufia's dead. Jaren's dead, too, actually. That's bad. And we're hitting, like, doo-doo. And we're almost dead. We gotta do a miracle and hope that it gets off. Oh my god. Alright, we gotta do another miracle. Because I don't know if my magic works. This game's, like, tricky with some shit. And then I, you know, I guess I Hail Mary try for another miracle here. Well. Didn't work, but... Don't you dare! Oh my god. This fight, though. Alright, we gotta go Miracles, man. Uh, <laughs> I can't trust this game not keeping Jaren fucking silent somehow the whole time. You know? And let's try to get a Miracle off on Aguro, and then hope for some non-shitty RNG, and then we can start healing and get back to attacking. It's not the best RNG, to be honest with you. Okay, let's try to win flute, I guess. Uh, attack, and... I guess we try to EX potion ourselves. Miss, just miss across the board, please. Please miss. Miss. Thank you.
All right, we're in better shape now. Yeah, you guys gotta uh, bear with me. I completely forgot about miracles. <laughs> it just slipped my mind. Wow. I feel like an idiot, but whatever. Please miss. Okay, good. All right, we can get back to thundering. And again, I don't know how the game treats Jaren getting KO'd if she's still silenced. I really have no idea. All right, we got through it, thank God. Wow, that was, that was kind of tough. But a lot of it was the fear of the unknown and also like, I just forgot stuff like miracles. That would have been a lot easier. Couple things. One, if I would remember miracles, it would have been easier. Two, if Jaren didn't get silenced at the beginning. And uh, three, if I knew that Jaren could use her spells after she died. But I don't know the answer to that. And I wasn't, I wasn't about to test it. And guess what? Because I didn't test it, I won. Not only that, but a girl leveled up. Jaren leveled up. Good shit. Defeated by mortals? How will I explain this to my master? I know. You shall be my gift. Ah! Lufia, what's wrong? Oh, what? The dual blade is ringing. My head. Ah! What? Did I do this? The power is released. In time, all shall be revealed. That voice. It's Daos. Lufia. Maxim? Maxim? No, it's Razor. I am pleased. The dual blade triggered your mind. My little gamble succeeded. Douse, where are you? What do you mean? What are you saying? Why do you think I would not destroy the very thing that threatens me? Is it not clear? I gave you a dual blade to restore your memory, Lufia. No, it can't be. Accept the truth. I sense your struggle. The memories of Lufia are fading, while Aram's grow stronger. Didn't you call Razor Maxim? Their energy is the same. Aram, take the dual blade and come to me. Oh shit. You must be joking. Lufia's memories are fading away. Accept the truth. You are Aram, the sinistral of death. No, I don't believe you. Aram, take the dual blade or it will be you who fades into oblivion. Razor will destroy me. Our only foes are those with blood of Maxim. Razor? The foe? Lufia is gone. Forget about Razor. Come back to me. Forget about Razor? Okay, well. Douse, destroy Razor now. We have him. No, she still has Lufia's thoughts. There will be another time. I understand. We have Dual Blade. Razor is nothing without it. W what happened? Are you all right, Razor? I'm fine. Lufia, Jaren, are you all right? Yes. Lufia, where's Lufia? She's gone. Razor, the dual blade. Where is it? I, I can't find it. It's gone. Razor, can it be true? Don't say it, Aguro. Not a word. This can't be true. Razor. Mm-hmm. So remember how I was saying, like, why do we need that other sword? Well, I guess we get our dual blade stolen, so it makes sense now. The, uh, what is it? The fucking, what the hell is it called? The Zircon sword? Aram, welcome, my sister. I have the dual blade. Good, give it to me. Why didn't you destroy me? I could have defeated you with this. You wouldn't do that. You are Aram. You're one of us. Now, give me the dual blade. Wretched sword, feel my wrath. We are one. The world will once again be ours. The reign of terror returns. <laughs> you like that laugh? Okay, so the landmass moved. Razor, Doom Island is starting to move again. It's heading southeast. Come on, after it. Uh, jump. Okay. Okay, so now we no longer have, um... Uh, whatchamacallit? 
no longer have Lufia, which sucks. That is not where I wanted to go. What is the name of the place? Hold on. <laughs> Warp. Was it Arubis? Yes, that's where I wanted to go. Alright, well, it looks like I, I think this is the end of the game, no? So we need to equip the sword. Glad that I didn't sell that like an idiot. That would have been fucking terrible. So we don't have Lufia. That kind of sucks, actually, now I'm thinking about it. Hmm. I am debating... I, need, I gotta go to the Dragon Shrine. It's just a matter of, do I feel like leveling up one more before I go there? Or just fucking doing it and throwing caution to the wind and going to Doom Island? You know what I mean? Um... I don't know, but first things first is we gotta heal. I should have plenty of smoke balls, plenty of sweet waters at this point, because there's only one area left in the whole game, so... Let me save and ponder what I'm going to do as far as uh, grinding or just going right for the uh, Dragon Shrine. Alright guys, so here's what I ended up doing. I ended up grinding Razor up one level pretty quickly. Uh, and then I turned in my Dragon Egg, so I'm not, I didn't show you guys me going to do the Dragon Shrine. It's the same old shit, you just turn the eggs in. Except this time the dragon uh, disappears because he used them three times. He says something like, oh, I'm going to fly away. So, nothing crazy. Um, I read that it's actually a good idea to get that shield for Guro, but I chose not to. So it is what it is. At this point, I just opted for levels. Um, I know that a couple guides have recommended you to be anywhere between like 45 to 48. I've seen somebody recommend 50. So I think for the most part, we should have the wherewithal to be able to get this done. Uh, and I'm sure that we're going to be able to find more potions in uh, Doom Tower. Uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. I warped to Eris because I heard that Doom Tower, apparently, or Doom Island, excuse me, not Doom Tower, um, is to the northwest somewhere. Oh, there it is. Uh... Okay, that leaves? What does this do? Why is there a spot there? <laughs> is this Doom... Doom Tower? Or is this... A, I think this is a town, no? Oh, you know what this is? Yeah, this is the, uh, the warp area. You're finally here. Close your eyes. Let me give you part of my power for the final battle. I don't remember what this guy does. Does he, like, upgrade me? Yeah, we're definitely gonna save. The final battle nears. Believe in yourself. Well, I know that we have to go through... Uh, yeah, okay, that's the final warp, huh? Where does this warp me, though? Curious. Okay. So, <laughs> I never really use these warp towers at all, I just realized. It's fine, though. Do something here with this fucking... Hold on. Let me see what it says. Can't believe we're, we're fucking basically at the end of the game, guys. There is... Only one more... Two more pages left in the uh, strategy guide. Which is crazy. <sighs> what? Yo, I keep saying... Fly in the Falcon to the floating Doom Island, land south of the Fortress of Doom.
Okay. Can I leave? Wait, do I have to leave on foot, maybe? Didn't mean to do that. Maybe I have to leave on foot. I don't know. Let's see. Oof. Like, how much experience did they give me here, though? <laughs> Honestly. I'm kind of curious. Are these the same as those other cores, or...? Yeah, it seems like it. They're running away. Ooh, they know succumb? Yo, they literally could fucking kill my entire party. Huh. Well, th this was a interesting uh, test, I guess, but doesn't really seem to be worth it. Yeah. All right, smoke ball. Oh, that was a waste of time. All right, well, let's use a uh, high magic, I guess. Boom. Oh yeah, we still need to fucking boost. We gotta use another high magic. <laughs> well, I tried, guys. I thought maybe, you know, I'd be able to get some ridiculous uh, experience there, but nope. Oh, duh. I think he heals me. Oh, well, whatever. So, do we just continue on? Yeah, okay, I see. So, you do just continue on. Interesting. Alright, well, we're gonna be, uh, smokeballing our way up here, I guess. Guys, we're here. Hard to believe. Oh, I fucking love this song, dude. Fucking love this shit. Alright, let's see what kind of items we're working with in here. Yeah, there's a lot of potions and a lot of miracles, so... I don't know, it might be in my best interest to, uh, to loot. You're gonna be seeing lots of sweet waters and smoke bombs. Not like that's anything different, but... Power potion. Okay, okay. Again, that's HP, so we'll do Jaren. Cool. Welcome to the 400 Club, my lady. Yeah, I mean, the good news is, is that dude is right by the tower, and we could, uh, if we need to, we can grind here, but I'm gonna give it the old college try. I will say that the game is very, uh, forgiving at the end. There's lots of very good grind spots, so. Mind potion, speed potion, okay, so. Speed potion on... Jaren. I'm actually gonna go Jaren. Mind Potion. Also on Jaren. And Great Potion is Strength. So I'm gonna do that for a Razor. Oops. Running into walls and shit. Hmm. I just thought about something. Well. I was gonna save after looting the tower, but I guess it doesn't matter, right? Because if I die, I just lose half my money, which doesn't fucking mean shit at this point. Ambush is never good. Well, let's use some of these uh, potions that we never freaking use. How about that? Anyway, first floor, done looted. This is the same exact setup uh, as earlier in the game. Nothing has changed for the most part. Could be different enemies though. I feel like I fought different enemies uh, during the flashback sequence. Can't remember. Power potion. The good thing is too, is this place isn't that big. If I remember correctly, I think it's only a few more, like, uh, screens. 
Alright, I gotta keep saying it in my head, but power potion. Um, gonna do this on actually a Guro. Because his magic defense is fucking horrible. So if I can keep him alive by one HP, I mean could be the difference between winning and losing, as I always say. I also think surprise attack is weird verbiage. Typically, wouldn't you think surprise attack would be the enemy gets me? Sort of like the ambush that this game says. I feel like it would have been better if they uh, translated it with like preemptive attack or... I don't know. Caught the enemy slipping? I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> but surprise attack just makes it seem like you're the one that got surprised. I always get confused by that still. Not the best translation. I would say that overall it's a good translation. But there's a lot of really random things that are fucked up, whether it be, you know, items that are completely backwards or the things that literally came with the game that were wrong. I, what, there's probably like six or seven errors on the Lufia quick chart alone. Even some of the stuff in the strategy guide was wrong. It's like, shit, do you guys even know the game? Um, hmm. I guess the question here, this is where I found the, uh, the Doomblade earlier. I'm just gonna go. There are uh, apparently some miracles, I think, the rest of the way. I think I got all the upgrade potions. Yeah, that's where I had the Doomblade earlier. Hmm. Uh, how are we on... We're more or less fully healed. That one stairwell brings you to, um healing warps, but I don't necessarily think I need those. And this next area actually has miracles around the edge, which again, don't think I need them. I mean, I got 29 of them. I don't know. What do you guys think? I guess I probably should grab them, right? Fuck it. We're at the end of the game. Let's grab them. Right, you really never know. You know what I mean? At this point, I'm anticipating three to four fights. Like, I don't know if we're gonna have to fight Lufia or what the deal is there, but we have to fight the other three Sinistrals, so. God, I love this song. This is actually, like, moving itself up into my top SNES songs. It's so epic. Alright. Well, oh boy. I am going to... Is this a boss? Like, is this a boss that is in front of the warp? Or like a, like a tough enemy or something? Let's see! Probably not. It's probably just coincidence. And you know what? Not in the mood. What I was going to say before I was so rudely interrupted was I'm gonna cut it here and gather my thoughts before what I believe to be the final area of the game and likely a boss gauntlet. Now, I am hoping that number one, we don't fight all the bosses at once. I don't think we do because the sprites are huge. And two, I'm hoping that there's a chance to heal in between fights. Because if not, it's gonna be fucking difficult. But we'll find out. In worst case scenario, guys, if I get my shit pushed in, I'll do some grinding and there will be seamless editing. All right. Here we go. It's time. Um, I don't know how this is gonna go. <laughs> I would not be surprised if I lose, because I'm not completely overpowered, and obviously I haven't had any experience with these fights. I have some strategies that I will go over when we get in, but other than that, here we go. There is the dual blade. Razor, the dual blade. It's smashed into splinters. By the way, I still got my tongue issue, so sorry for any extra, uh, you know, weird, weird sounds that I don't normally make when I'm talking. But anyway, <clears throat> let's get to business here. Douse, you cannot win without the dual blade. Razor, why do you fight us? I want Lufia back. Really? 
But does she want you? I wonder. Do we get the dual blade back? Or does that turn into... Yeah, okay. Hey. <clears throat> Lufia. Lufia! There is your answer. Lufia! Wait, what's that sound? It's the dual blade. Impossible. We destroyed it. It's flowing with Razor's energy. So do I get it back? Mm, I don't know. Dual blade. Wait, what? Razor. Razor, do I have a chance to equip it? What the fuck? Maxim, thank you. I do have a chance to equip it. Oh, it's already equipped. <laughs> Okay, so basically I didn't really need the sword, unless obviously it was doing a lot of fighting. Alright, uh, I just realized I didn't top off my fucking magic, so I might as well. Because when else am I going to use this shit? I gotta be as liberal as possible with everything that I have in my inventory at this point. EX potions, fucking miracles, whatever the case may be. Alright, it's time. So, the little knight has a little sword. But does he know how to play with it? Okay, so first boss is Gades, and as you can see, we don't have Lufia, which sort of fucking sucks. So Gades is weak to Thunder, which is not really, uh, doesn't matter at this point, because... I don't have any fucking Thunder spells with these guys. Also, it's kind of weird, my ears are ringing in real life, very strange. Anyway. So we're gonna have to switch our strategy around a little bit. Razor is gonna have to cast Drain instead of Lufia, because we don't have Lufia. Um, and then we're going to have to buff Razor and Aguro with uh, Power Gourds or Trick if we run out of Power Gourds, which I don't think we will. Um, beyond that, uh, we're going to have to make sure that we keep everybody's HP up, because he's very strong and those magic. Uh, Champion is going to probably be a spell to use. And I'm curious if... I should mirror or not. I don't know. I'm gonna try not mirroring. And anyway, that's, that's, uh, that's really all I got. <clears throat> so let's power go to Guro. And then we have to cast Drain. And then we'll attack. Oops. Uh, and I will power gourd Razor. Destroy. Okay, so destroy only attacks one person. Also, he has 4,200 uh, HP, so that's something to consider. We will attack, attack, and I will... How much MP do I have? I have a lot, so I can use champion. Undead? Oof! That's a lot of attack power. We already hit him over 800, so that's good. So now I'm in a weird spot. Do I, like, s cast... Does Trick keep stacking? Like, can I keep doing that, or does it, like, reset? Because Jaren doesn't necessarily have any, like, good spells otherwise. And, like, maybe I should honestly fucking cast boost preemptively? I don't know. That might not be the, the move. I don't know. Alright, this guy's gonna stop buffing himself. Um, I think I'm gonna... S mm. I have to... be conservative with my magic a little bit, because I don't know... when we get breaks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because if you're thrust into battle, uh, I would have to cast Miracle. Or, uh, use a Miracle item. I think I'll use this on Razor. I mean, if we do almost 500 per turn, like, we're in good shape, I think. Until we start seeing that, you know, the attack dip down, of course. Looks like it's starting to get a little lower. Um, so in that case, I will Power Gourd. I guess that'll be a good... You know, way to see, right? 
Let's see what happens. Ooh! That is not good. Please get the champion off. Thank you. Yeah, I forgot how uh, weak he is to stuff. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna champion. Yikes. Yeah, Aguro's uh, magic weakness is not a good time, to say the least. I think we're still doing um, <clears throat> decent enough damage here. I mean, it's still about 500 per turn, so he should actually be dead pretty quick. It would be nice if we had a third attacker. I also might want to consider using some consumables here, like maybe like a EX potion. Gotta save some of my, my MP, dude, because I don't know. Wasn't expecting that one. Um, I'm gonna get risky here and actually use another power gourd. <clears throat> okay. And now I will do champion on a guru. Oh fuck. Okay. Well, the weakest hit of all of them killed him. So that's one sinistral down. Obviously the easiest. Damn, I didn't get a level up there. Kind of blows. Oh! Oh, I could heal in between battles. Oh, okay. Well. With that being said. Do that. And then let's go to our high magics. Boom. 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 And boom. All right, one of them down. Next is Amon, which I will tell you my strategy before getting into battle. Amon is weak to fire, but uh, Amon is a spellcaster, so we're gonna be mirroring like crazy in this fight. So I'm actually really glad that we were able to heal up fully in between fights, otherwise that would've sucked. I wonder, can you retreat out of here? Probably not, and if you do, I bet you the game fucks so you need to refight everybody, but. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna have to be casting Mirror almost the entire time, and then every time somebody loses Mirror. So this is actually gonna be kind of an annoying fight. Mirror, I think, is probably gonna be the, uh, the biggest thing here. So we're gonna cast Drain and then attack. Yeah, we're just gonna be attacking, basically. Drain, attack, 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 and Mirror, Mirror, Mirror on the wall. Here is your reward for 99 years of grief. That's a six sprite, man. All right. Mirror. Uh, I'm gonna do it on a Guro first because a Guro's magic defense is poo poo. Lower HP, by the way, which is surprising. Lower HP. Gotta get that mirror off. That's my goal. Attack, attack, and another mirror on ourself. And then we can heal. Hopefully a Guru's mirror doesn't expire right away. We'll see. Because I <clears throat> want to do... Actually, I think I want to do... Boost. Damn, he lost a lot of defense. <clears throat> That's good for me. Alright, probably gonna have to cast Mirror on Aguro next turn. We'll see. Yo, he's losing tons of defense. Is this almost as good as a buff? Well, you know, sometimes I don't know. <laughs> sometimes I don't know. 
Don't you feel like uh, they should be doing a lot more damage than that with that much of a defense? All right, Aguro lost Magic Mirror. So Aguro's gonna get hit here with something, unfortunately. Dread, okay. I think we're getting good RNG here though, TBH. Razor's gonna lose it probably immediately after, but not too concerned. What is this? I don't know what that did. Don't know what that did. Right, reflected on your ass. Eat that, alright? I bet you Chaos probably confuses or kills. <laughs> Everybody's mirrored right now. <clears throat> so, I will actually do trick. Ooh, Sunder, nice. I'll do a nice 150, 200 damage to him. Uh, and I guess I'll trick Aguro as well. Alright, Jaren lost the Magic Mirror, which does suck, but we only got Dreadcast on us, so that's not too bad. Mmm, damn. Wait, Aguro lost the Mirror too? I think. Yeah, I think, yep, we did. Okay. So that was right of me casting it on Aguro. Razor lost it now. It's fine. Bounce that shit back. Kind of in a weird uh, magic mirror spot, I will say. But we're trying to manage here. So I gotta get a heal on the board next turn. Still don't know what that does. <laughs> All right, Amon is done. <sighs> we leveled up. Across the board, yes indeed. Learned Valor too, wow. Okay, how many miracles do we have? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And let's use high potions here. All right, so according to the strategy guide, this is the last break of the game, so this is it, basically. Um, we got the second to last boss and the last boss, and I think they're back to back, which fucking sucks. Um, so against uh, Douse, we're pretty much going to be using the same strategy. <clears throat> I had heard that Mirror comes in crazy handy down the stretch. So it's just gonna be attack, attack, mirror, heal is needed, buff is needed. And then, um... We're gonna be on to the last boss, which also knows some crazy shit. <laughs> Again, it's gonna basically come down to how quick can we mirror. Um... Because if we don't, we're gonna get fucked, basically. One of, one of the spells that the last boss knows confuses, like, the entire party. So we have to lay these... Mirrors are the most important thing. Let's go. Your energy flows just like Maxim's did. But can you wield the dual blade? Let us see. So here's Douse. So we're gonna mirror a Guru. Douse has uh, about the same HP as the last two, by the way. Mirror Razor. Unfortunately, we got glaciered, but it's okay. I'm gonna focus on the mirror first before I do any healing. Mirror. And then if we have the ability to, we'll buff, obviously, but... Okay. So now, I am actually going to boost. Everybody's mirrored. I gotta remember that. That's like very important that I remember that shit. Attack. You know, I almost preemptively want to cast Mirror on a Guru, and I think I will. Because Razor was second in line. I feel like I could sneak a buff in. Amnesia, what does that do? 
The world may never know. Probably uh, forget your spells. All right, um, let's trick and hope that Razor doesn't lose his uh, magic mirror. He does, which fucking sucks, actually. Cast it stronger on himself. So he kind of got bailed out there. Jaren lost the mirror as well. Damn, that was a, was a rough turn. About to get flooded, but that's okay. Gotta mirror ourselves. All are mirrored. Alright. That's good, because if Jaren didn't... I'm assuming Amnesia makes me uh, lose my spells, which would have been absolutely fucking disastrous. Um, let's... Hmm. Preemptively, I'm gonna mirror Aguro again. Because Aguro is definitely destined to lose the mirror. This next turn, though, I'm gonna try to heal. Because I think we get thrust right into the last fight immediately. So let's use, um... Boost. Wherever it is. I think Razor is next in line to lose the mirror. Should we just preemptively do it? Probably. Jaren lost the mirror. Which was expected. Alright, this is actually could be really bad, guys. This could be bad. Oh, Jaren's paralyzed. Okay. Hmm. Um... Let's see. Of course, the person that knows the antidotes of paralysis is Jaren. Um... Fuck, can you cure paralysis by attacking? I still don't remember. I'm just gonna Google it. <laughs> Lufia... Paralysis. Uh, attacking party. Attacking Jaren, though, is actually, uh, not a great idea. <laughs> Damn, dude. Hmm. Yeah, I'm actually a little, uh, a little concerned. If we're being honest here. Because I, I feel like that the final boss is probably a second form. So the paralysis is... I don't know, man. We might lose here. Hmm. All because we couldn't get that fucking magic mirror up in time. And you have to remember, as each turn goes, I'm eventually going to lose mirrors on everybody. <clears throat> I don't know. Now, in retrospect, I should have given all my speed potions to Jaren, but I mean, I didn't really know. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. Can you snap out of paralysis? I, I, I honestly don't remember. A girl lost his magic mirror. Yeah, we're in a bit of trouble here. Does the miracle... Am I better off having Jaren die? At this point, and then like using a miracle? I feel like I'm like, really pushing it though at that point. You know what I mean? Um, I have an idea. But hear me out. EX Potion, attack Jaren. Don't. Okay. And now I use Miracle. Okay. 
I could find it. <laughs> On Jaren. Everybody lost their magic mirror, so that's bad. But... Okay, that's good. We gotta get back to casting mirror here. One is up. We cannot not not afford... I should have cast it on Jaren. Okay, Glacier, that's perfect. Alright. That is fine. Alright, he's done. And now we got the last box. And I don't know what happens here. A girl leveled up. This time I will finish what I started 99 years ago. So I think we're stuck at our shitty uh, HP situation. Four Sinistrals become one. How can this be possible? Lufia, Lufia! The energy of the dual blade, it, it can't be. Daos, Aram's energy is growing unstable. Aram, my sister. My head. Ah. Uh. Lufia! Lufia, can you hear me? Razor? Do you know me? I remember, but who am I? Good, good. Razor. Razor. Lufia. Stand back. The Sinistrals are changing again. Descendant of Maxim, nothing will stand against me this time. Come to me. Meet the hideous destiny you so richly deserve. Alright, so we are... Ugh. That is a... That is a sprite. <laughs> that looks like one of those... Amagla... What is the word? Amaglamation or some shit? I can't remember. Uh, amaglamation? Kind of reminds me of um, Zeromus from Final Fantasy IV, or just some crazy fucking mishmash. So the good news and the bad news is Aguro is basically good, Lufia is good, Razor is not at full health, and Jaren's not at full health. Uh, I didn't get to get that heal off like I had hoped. So as I said, Gardaos is weak to Thunder, but Gardaos knows a. Uh, Attack all magic spell, but then knows the one that can confuse the party. <laughs> uh, so pretty much Jaren is going to be uh, mirroring as much as possible, and we hope that it gets off quick, because we didn't use all of our speed potions on her, unfortunately. Um, the two most important people, I think, to keep uh, mirrored in this fight are... Well, I mean, like, Aguro could die easily, but Jaren and Razor probably because they have the ability to uh, heal people from the dead. Also, this song is really cool. I'm just trying to get my strategy out here. Uh, we just basically gotta hope that nobody gets confused. Worst case scenario, if they do, Jaren's gonna have to attack the party. Um, yeah, attack with Razor, attack with a Guru. Uh, Thunder, when possible, Lufia. So yeah, that's kind of it, I guess. Um, let me think. Should I... Should I heal everybody in the first turn? I think yes. Attack. And now we gotta get mirror. I'm gonna do it on myself. Alright guys, hope that we get the mirror off at the very least, and hope that Guard Daos doesn't use the confusion spell. Please don't use it, please don't use it, please don't use it. Alright, we got mirror at least, so we're okay there. Um, let's mirror razor. This is the spell. Alright, fucking Aguro's confused, unfortunately. Lufia's not. So let's thunder. We got two mirrors up. We're gonna get a, another mirror on Lufia, hopefully. Yes. And then I'm actually gonna attack Aguro with Lufia. Wait, did I already do that? I guess I did. <laughs> Alright, so now... Does she know Champion? She does not. So I'm actually gonna boost. Okay, so we have... Mirrors on everybody but Aguro. Okay, so here comes this bullshit again. Missed, thankfully. Alright. Okay. Everybody has a mirror currently. 
That's good. We're gonna use Thunder. We're gonna use Boost. And hope that we don't lose our mirror this turn. We did not. I have to stay on top of the mirrors with this. Razor lost the mirror, okay. Woo. Boy, that's a lot of damage. Jaren and Razor lost the mirror, okay. So, we're gonna have to uh, mirror Jaren first. I actually think I'm gonna boost. Mirror Jaren, attack. All right, everybody's ra uh, mirrored, but Razor. So it's Mirror Razor. Lufia lost the mirror. I think I'm actually gonna go for a Thunder. <sighs> Everybody's mirrored but Lufia. Okay, so hopefully Lufia doesn't get confused. She did not. That's good. Let's mirror Lufia, attack. The girl lost the mirror. Okay, a girl is gonna get hit pretty hard here, but I should be able to mirror him before the next turn, which is ideal. Like, I want to heal with Lufia, dude, but like, a fucking 400 plus damage per attack spell? I mean... I don't know. It would be nice if we can confuse... the boss. <laughs> Um, what do we do here? I think I preemptively cast Mirror on Jaren. Look at that. I guessed right. Perfect. I can't forget that I am uh, hurting him, you know, about a hundred or so every time he casts Flood if everybody's mirrored. So Razor lost the Mirror, which is what I was going to do anyway. Perfect. Yeah, if he confused himself, that'd be fucking wonderful. Don't think it's possible, though. Who's next? I don't remember if it's Aguro or Lufia. I'm probably gonna guess wrong. I'm gonna go with Aguro, though, because his fucking HP is so low. Everybody's currently mirrored. Yeah, we gotta be getting close, honestly. Feel lost the mirror, which I just cast. Okay, everybody's mirrored now. I'm just gonna preemptively keep casting Mirror at this point. Thunder, Mirror on Jaren, attack, and then we'll Mirror Razor next turn. Yep. That hurts. Felt like it was a little quicker than it should have been, no? I feel like it was a little bit too quick there, personally. And that's it, baby! We did it. All right. Yo, mirror for the win, though. No experience and no gold. That's it, guys. We did it. We beat Lufia. Whew. The fights were rather trivialized by mirror. Um, I would say that if you don't use mirror, whew, you pro like you probably got to be like level 65, 70 plus and get, like, some of the best RNG ever. Alright, let's see the ending. Lufia.
Lufia? Hold the sword, Razor. Lufia... Lufia what? Sixteen years ago, I was born Lufia, but I was Aram long before that. I don't believe that. Just as the Sinistrals are your enemies, those with Maxim's blood are mine. How can we be enemies? The Sinistrals are my foes, not you. I am the Sinistral Aram. Even if you defeat Amon, Daos, and Gades, they'll return again as long as I live. Finish this, Razor. Yo, do we have another fight? <laughs> Lafia, don't do this. Razor, destroy me. The dual blade? Why did the dual blade go to Lufia? Where is she? I never wanted to fight her. Razor. Lufia! I was so scared. All the memories of Aram flooded into my mind. They just wouldn't stop. I started to forget about you, Razor. That's why you disappeared in front of me? But when you called my name, I realized... I remembered you, Razor. Don't talk now. Razor, it's alright. The Sinistrals... Ah, the Sinistrals are gone forever. Lufia, hold on! Razor, I was much happier in the short time I lived as Lufia than the eternity I spent as Aram. What are you talking about? We'll always be together. Razor, I don't want to go yet. I want to be close to you, Razor. You won't die. I won't let you, Lufia. Really? Trust me. We'll always be together? For a long time? Good. Good. A long time, Lufia. Lufia? Lufia! Oh, shit. Razor, Doom Island, it's falling. Let's get out of here, it's too dangerous. Razor, come quickly. Lufia, what are you doing? Come on! Professor, Doom Island is descending. Is it trying to land somewhere? No, it's out of control. It's falling. What? Falling? Wow, they did it! Elder, Doom Island! I know. I felt the energy vanish. You mean, it's finished. At last. The people of our world could live in peace and safety once more. Hooray! It's finished. What's the matter, Artea? My long battle is over at last. Finally, a real peace will arrive! Guy, Maxim, Ceylon, all over. Everything is coming to an end. Uncle! I know. Everything is fine now, Guy. Rest in peace. Sleep well. Razor, we're getting out of here. Razor, quickly! Where are they headed to? Exactly. <laughs> Anywhere? Whew! We escaped just in time. Any longer, we would have disappeared with Doom Island. Razor. Don't, Jaren. There's nothing you can say to Razor right now. But, but... We defeated the Sinistrals. Our journey ends here. No one could stop Razor. So, are we supposed to say goodbye now? Must it end this way? I can't. Razor. One year later. Shit's cheery now. <laughs> Commander Aguro, where are you going? We're training recruits today, you have to be there. I have something else to do. I leave the training to you, you can do it. But it's my first time, I, I can't. Silence, stop moaning, just do it. That's an order. Yes, sir. Sorry to be so long, Jaren. It's been a year, hasn't it, Aguro? Yes. I wonder what happened to Razor. I don't know. He's not in Alekia. I don't know where he is now, but... But what? I know I'll see him again. I just feel it. 
Yes, I feel the same thing. We'll see him again. A year has passed, Jaren, and there's something I want to tell you. What's going on, Aguro? It's not like you to be this so serious. How long do you think you're going to stay in this town? What? What do you mean, what? A year ago, you said there was no place for you to go, so I brought you here. And yet, you've never looked for a new home. What are you saying? Am I bothering you? Yes, you're bothering me. Thanks to you, I can't even eat unless I serve in the army. Hey, I earn my keep, don't I? It costs more than uh, that when two people live together. I don't even have a girlfriend. You couldn't find a girlfriend even if I wasn't living with you. You weren't cute when I met you. One year later, you're still not cute. I don't care if you think I'm cute or not. What an attitude. No wonder you can't find a new place to live. That's funny. Eris Village, Lufia's favorite flower, Perthea. Was it in full bloom then? Or was in full bloom then? I'm fading down the stretch here, guys, late at night. <laughs> what? Hello, are you a traveler? Yes, I'm Razor. I've been traveling around the world for about a year now. Around the world? I envy you. I've never been far from the village. Excuse me, but may I ask your name? I'm Lufia. I lived in this village with my grandfather. L Lufia? Is there something wrong with my name? No, no, not at all. Oh, Grandpa! Grandpa, this is Razor. He's been traveling around the world. Oh my, welcome to our little village. We're simple people, but please enjoy your stay here. Say, Grandpa, if it's alright, why don't we let him stay with us? I want to hear about the world outside of this village. That's a good idea. What do you say, Razor? Could you tell her some of your stories? Of course, I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'll go make some tea. Tell me, Flake. Who is she? That's Lufia. That can't be true. Lufia is... A year ago, I... We moved her to this village after a fall from Dune Island. She was weak, but she survived. So you're saying that she's really Lufia? Yes, she's Lufia, all right. But she can't use magic now. What do you mean she can't use magic? She's just an ordinary girl now. But why? Maybe because of the dual blade. Its great power affects people in different ways. The blade's energy changed Lufia. Her magic and her memory. All gone. Changed her? How can that be? No doubt about it. When I found her, she couldn't even remember how to speak. Well, what about her memory now? I taught her what she knows. Parts of that are just an illusion. I don't know, but why do you want me to help Lufia so much? I don't know, I just... Grandpa, Razor, tea's ready. Come inside and relax. Oh, you made cinnamon tea. You usually don't make it. What we'll changed your mind? Well, we have a guest, and I thought it'd be nice. When my guests come, you make ordinary tea. That's not true. Sometimes I make it for your guests. <laughs> That's alright. My friends alone can't make you do this. I understand. But Razor, it's your own age, Lufia. I know you'd want to do something special. What? Oh, you. How can he say that, Grandpa? Forgive us, Razor. Just ignore him. I see. So, Lufia, you're saying you don't like him? I never said that. Let's just have our tea, please. It's Lufia. It's really her, isn't it? Yes, but she's different from the Lufia you knew. I don't care, as long as she's alive. Even without her memory, she doesn't even remember you. Memories. Yo, is this the precursor to 50 First Dates or whatever? <laughs> That's alright. We'll make new memories. What are you two talking about? The tea's getting cold. Come inside quick. Come. Come in, Razor. Lufia's waiting. I'll be right there. So, that ending was like kind of sad, but then they, they sparked you up with the, the music, obviously. Yeah, so, a lot to say about this game. I'm actually going to be very much looking forward to reviewing it, so stay tuned for that. Um, obviously, this is my first ever playthrough. I very much enjoyed the game. Um, it's not without its flaws. There's, there's a lot of flaws. And I think those flaws mainly come in the form of the mid-game. It, it kind of loses its luster a little bit. It kind of feels more just by the book, rudimentary. You know, you're just kind of slogging along. Things kind of move a little bit too quick. Where I feel like the beginning of the game and the end of the game are really fucking good, honestly. Another gripe that I have with the game 
is especially like mid to mid end, you have to grind. Like if you don't know the mirror spell, you're fucked. And just in general, like you have to properly allocate your spell usage or your uh, your potion upgrades, especially if you're not properly leveled. I, I feel like that you have to level up at a certain point. And it's actually pretty early, honestly, because there's a few tough, tough fights early on that if you're not leveled properly, you might get fucked up. I don't like when a game basically forces you to level. And it's not so much just for the stats, it's for the magic spells that you learn. Like, the game is enormously easier when you know certain magic spells in certain areas, but if you don't know them, it becomes really hard. Because the game pretty much becomes a status effect bonanza. Not even just from the bosses, but fucking random enemies. Um, the encounter rate's also really freaking high. But thankfully, you know, you have sweet waters and you have uh, smoke balls. Those are my gripes. The mid-game's a little meh. There's way too many uh, instances of um, status effects. There's forced grinding. And the encounter rate's super high. But as far as the good, the music's good. I like the graphics, they're very charming. Um, I feel like the dialogue's pretty strong actually throughout the game. Even though there are some translation issues here and there, mostly due to like items and that kind of thing, not necessarily the actual dialogue being spoken. Like item descriptions, spell descriptions, things like that. But yeah, like good graphics, good soundtrack, uh, good dialogue. Really cool sprites, I know we're going back to the graphics, but really cool sprites with some bosses and enemies. Um, even though the towers and the caves are kind of like, just reskins, I find them to be engaging enough. There is a level of exploration to this game that keeps you glued. It does a lot of good things. Now I heard that this game's not as good as um, Lufia Rise of the Sinistrals, which is actually a prequel. So if that's the case, I'm super fucking excited for that, because pretty much, like, worldwide, it's known that, that Rise of the Sinistrals is better. And if I've gotten this much enjoyment out of the Fortress of Doom, and that one's better, then I'm in for a treat. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. I certainly did. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit those likes on all the videos. Helps out the, uh, the channel exposure. And stay tuned for a review of this in the near future. Although... What do we have here? A secret ending? Maybe? Let's see. Oh, there we go. Playtime! So, yeah. Obviously there was some grinding in there, and there was also uh, dead air time, so to speak, where I left the fucking game on. <laughs> Honestly, probably a couple hours worth of dead time. Um, while I went to go do things around the house or whatever. Dead count five. Actually, most of that was during grinding, surprisingly. Razor died a lot. Razor got insta-killed a lot during grinding at the end of the game. And you know me, I rest a lot. I run away a lot. Um, opened box, so I missed a lot of items, about a hundred. What's the difference between open box and got item? I don't know. That's cool, though. I like that they give you a... Oh, I heard that this, there's a new game plus for this, actually. Maybe I'm wrong. Could be Lufia, too. Doesn't seem like I can advance past this screen. But anyways, back to what I was saying. If you've enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for a review, and I hope you enjoyed Lufia. Take care.